Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we've come to the Bracknell Way at Gospel Borough here at Privet Park. Um, it's one we're looking forward to, isn't it, Gemma? Another ground ticked off. Yeah, it should be good. Also, Gospel's got like a big fan base as well, so that should be good. Yeah, the average attendance here, I believe so far this season, is 600 plus, so hopefully a big crowd here today for the Southern League Premier South fixture. And would you believe Gosport Borough have lost five of their last six league games, which has led to the sacking of manager Sean Gale. Um, they even lost three to at Beaconsfield, and they also lost um, against Hendon as well, so two very poor disappointing defeats for the Borough, and hence why their manager is now gone. Bracknell, however, um, despite losing 3 0 in the FA Cup first round against Ipswich Town on Monday night, are much better form. I've been lost one in the last six. Um, Gemma, there's been some departures this week for Bracknell. Yeah, sadly, Scott Rees has decided to go and Shamar Moore as well. Yeah, two great big losses for the Robins, that will be, um, I'm sure of it. But we wish them good luck in the future. Of course, Bracknell will be buzzing despite that defeat against Ipswich Town in the FA Cup first round, so maybe they can continue their good league form um, in today's game. But Gemma, with that, um, what's your prediction for today? I'm going to 2-0 win Bracknell. Uh, so it's 11th versus 16th, I'm going 2-1 Bracknell, why not? Um, if you want to come watch these non-league vlogs, don't forget to subscribe down below, and you know the rest by now, but without further ado, let's get inside Privet Park. Time here at Gosport, it's 1 0 to Bracknell. Um, Sanders with the goal. Um, what do you think that half, Gemma? It's not, not a lot happened, but did, did it really? It was but okay, but I think that um, Bracknell just needs to get like a bit more together. Another goal. That's what it, the I fans think. are saying. So. Another goal, but um, Gosport not really had many opportunities. Same with Bracknell. A few free kicks and things. The goalkeeper's a bit soft. Um, the referee's a bit soft, but there we go. We'll bit even. A bit even in the first half, I'd say. Oh. 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 Oh, oh! 
Jenny, Jenny, give us a goal! <laughs> <laughs> Maximus! Well, there you have it, a 4 0 victory for the Robins at Privet Park against Gosport Borough today. A very valuable three points for the Robins. Um, the first clean sheet, I think, um, for a while as well. Um, so, overall, good performance. A three goal second half for the Robins. Gemma, first of all, your thoughts on, uh, on what was uh, a very good display um, from Bracknell? Yeah, no, I thought they played really well today. Um, the first half was a bit scrappy, and they meant with that hanging on to that 1-0 win and then second half turned and they turned it all around and played really well to get the other three goals. Oh. Um, I think Michael Michael Ecott was really well today, he, he kept us in the game with his super saves. Two or three great saves in the second half. I think it's fair to say though, that the game was quite close for the first half of the second half if you like. Um, that was until Abisogan made it 2-0 to Bracknell. Um, Gosport were fighting, I think it's fair to say, loads of opportunities, opportunities like you said. Um, he caught off a couple of these amazing saves, um, they even hit the crossbar, Gosport. And then Jordan Esprit made it 3-0 with his ninth or 10th goal of the season. Um, and then of course, right at the end of the game, it was a headed goal in off the post for Cheshire to um, easily confirm the victory for the Robins today. It was also interesting to see some ex-Portsmouth players um, playing for Gosport today, like of Sam Magri and Brad Tarbuck, who come from the Youth Academy at Portsmouth, so it was great to see them in action today. So the results in today's other Southern League Premier Division South fixtures. Hamill Town 1, Winchester City 2, Harrowborough 2, Paul Town 1, Hendon 0, Dorchester 0, Murphy Town 2, Western Supermare 3, Met Police 1, Chiro City 2, Northley 0, Beaconsville 2, Plymouth Parkway 3, Hayes and 1, Salisbury 1, Chesham 2, Swindon Supermarine 2, Yate Town 0, and finally Tiverton 1, Hartley Whitney 0. So, in terms of the league table, Cherry City remain at the top of the table with 39 points. Just one point still ahead of Western Supermare in second place, who are slowly trying to catch up to them now again. Um, and then Chesham, Paul and Swindon Supermare make up the playoff spots. Um, right, at the, right at the bottom there we have Northleet, Yate Town and Hendon. But today's results um, mean that Bratton will move up to 10th position. Just four points behind in those playoff places now with uh, three or four games in hand with the, uh, the pack in the playoff spots. Um, Winchester City, another vital win for, that, for them today. Puts them in 14th position, a very good win for them there today. And Hartley Whitney still remaining in 19th position. So if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like down below. It helps with the algorithm massively. And if you want to come watch these non-league vlogs and hit subscribe down below and ring the notification bell to be notified when the latest videos go live. And of course, don't forget we've got a 22-23 non-league playlist. So go and check that out. But uh, yeah, until then, thank you for watching and we will see you next time. <laughs>